What's going on, guys, and welcome back. We're on episode 18 of Fairy Tale. Um, the episode is called Reach the Sky Above, and we're about to see Urza and Natsu destroy the moon. So let's see how they're gonna do this. I wonder the purple moon is supposed to be purple on purpose at this place. Natsu, we're going to destroy the moon. Really? <laughs> Man, the moon is such like a uh, thing in anime. It always gets destroyed or used for something. Didn't they destroy the moon in Dragon Ball? When uh, Master Roshi destroyed it? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's happy. This is giant armor. It increases my strength and allows me to throw farther. And oh. this. There you go. Ooh. This is the spear of Haja. It repels darkness. Whoa! I see what you're planning now. You're gonna use that spear to knock the moon out of the sky. Give me a break. That's never gonna work. That's right, but I'm afraid I'll need more strength than this armor can give me. So that armor can ju it just gives her the ability to throw stuff. Whenever I begin to throw the spear, I want you to hit the back of it with your flame. Now we'll have to time it's our like a rocket. But I think you should give me just enough power to do the job. Sounds like a killer plan to me. Then let's do it. <laughs> really think they're gonna pull this off, do they? Well, I think they've totally gone off the deep end this time. They're gonna make a rocket like out of her spear. Oh man. Oh. Man, you know how much power that spear has to have to like destroy the moon? <laughs> oh, I was like, did it not work? Oh! So they were encasing a a spell. What the heck is going on? As a result of the spell, a noxious membrane was covering the island. What? The moon drip released evil energy in the form of a gas. That gas crystallized and formed an invisible shell in the sky that covered the island. That's why the moon looked purple here. So she knew all along her intent was to destroy that shell. It didn't change. They're not transforming. Oh no. That's because these are their true forms. The moon drip never had any effect on their appearance. However, it seems to have altered their memories. What do you mean? They think they're human who have been transformed into demons, but it's the other way around. Oh, they're demons transformed into humans? You've got it. <laughs> the villagers have always been demons. <laughs> How did they not know they're demons? Hey, is that true? Well, <laughs> my memory's hazy. We all looked pretty human when you met us, didn't we? Yes, because you possess the ability to take on human form. Your false memories led you to believe that your temporary states were actually your true form. In reality, you were demons who had fallen victim to the moon drip's side effects. Hold on, how come Leon and the others weren't affected? I assume it's because they're human. As far as I can only see, affects demons. The only one susceptible to the memory loss. I knew what was going on as soon as the villagers told me they were unable to go to the temple. 
The moonlight collected there was sacred. Therefore, creatures of darkness couldn't go near it. Hmm. You're quite the detective. I knew I could trust you and your friends. <laughs> Thanks, wizards. It's him. You one. <laughs> You're the guy what was his name, Bobo? chest hurt pretty bad but you gotta do more than that to kill a demon <laughs> but on the boat you just disappeared in the thin air <laughs> i really hope you kids can forgive me for not telling Ooh, you the truth they can fly he can fly i was the only one who didn't have any memory loss i had to leave because everyone went nuts <laughs> i knew i was a demon but everybody else suddenly they thought they were cursed humans <laughs> 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 I'm so glad you finally snapped out of it, Pops. They all have wings. <laughs> You're alive. Got bubble back. Yeah, they are definitely demons. I don't know. If you look at their faces, <laughs> they kind of look. Angels. Did they complete the mission, though? Just eats fire. How are you feeling? You're sure looking a lot better. Do I know you? Maybe this will help. Oh, they can change at will now. I remember you. I look a little different now, huh? <laughs> just, yeah. Just so you know, every girl in our village has totally fallen for you because we think you're like the coolest guy <laughs> ever. Yeah, she's right. We think you're super awesome. You probably think we're cuter in our human form, don't you? No, that's not necessarily true. I think you ladies look fine the way you are. <laughs> You've got to be the sweetest guy I've ever met. You know just what to say to a girl. Let's get the dance floor and we'll teach you the demon wiggle waggle. The demon wiggle waggle. <laughs> to admit I was wrong about humans. All of these years we've chosen to hide from the outside world. We were so afraid that others would judge us by our appearance. You know the curse? That was just a rumor we spread so no one would come to the island and bother us. Well, it worked because the sailors with the dock were terrified. Nobody wanted to come here. But the island's not cursed. And it's a shame. But after meeting you, we've changed our minds. You've restored our faith in humans and now we're not afraid. Good thing we came here because then if we didn't, Deliora would That's good. Friendship is be alive. Thing. It's an emotional bond that transcends one's physical appearance. <laughs> are you really gonna go down there? I have no choice. Uh, Where's Leon? Leon okay. We have to do this. It's all in the name of love. <laughs> all in the name of love. And what about the other guy? The guy that can turn time. Not over. What do we do? Don't worry. I'll take care of him. How can I help you? <laughs> you fairy tailors are tough. The cold emperor is so banged up he couldn't even make it down here. That's why we've come to pay you a visit in his place. Wait just a minute. I thought we were. Did they let him go? Did Leon tell you guys what happened? Yes, but that doesn't matter to us. We wanted to 
settle things with you ourselves. They want to fight right, again. Fight rematch. Wait, Natsu. Thanks for the help, but we can't keep relying on you. So let us fight him. He's right. We got these clowns. The oh. Keep our village safe. We've got to protect it. Can they fight? Probably I would agree with you, gentlemen. But I think it's best that I handle this one. Everyone wants to fight now. We meet again to time your fairy tale. You gave dear Angelica quite a beating earlier. She seems like a formidable opponent. Watch out for that creepy chick! She can <laughs> control inanimate objects! And don't even bother trying to use your magic against old Mega Brows. Is that so? Mega Brows? I'll do it the old fashioned way! Oh! You really like knocked them out. <laughs> she didn't even have to use any magic. That's the great Urza for you. She just she ran up and punched them. You were truly an amazing warrior. That was it. No kidding. We're no match for you. That was the rematch. Wait, so you're not here to attack us? I doubt this is going to make up for all the trouble we've caused you. But we wanted to apologize in person. Oh, so you guys came here to settle things in a good way. The cult emperor told oh, us okay. everything. Thanks to you, we can finally let go of the team Deliora. Now join Fairy Tale. Many years ago. We need more members. You were victims of Deliora too. When we were children, monster ravaged our village. We watched it murder all of our friends and family. The cult emperor had a plan to kill the demon once and for all. That's why we joined him. You see. We wanted revenge, and we were so focused on getting it, we never realized we were hurting innocent people. We were so blinded by our hatred that we ended up acting no better than the demon itself. From now on, we'll treat other people with respect and love. <laughs> and love. Yes, it's party. Celebrate and join fairy tale. I don't think it's a good idea because I'm trying to watch my figure and. <laughs> Where's the other guy? That guy. Were you able to see all of that, sir? Yes. Why did you restore the village? Because I'm nice. Because <laughs> I'm nice. Too nice. You better leave before they find you. Those fairy tales. Oh, it's him. They could pose quite a threat were they to get in our way. That was a girl? That was his plan. Where'd eyebrows and love girl go? Like typical party guests, they stuffed their faces and took off. <laughs> but I think it's gonna leave a scar. Oh, he got a battle scar. It doesn't matter to me. On your face? I don't mind having a few scars as long as I can see them. It's the ones you can't see that sting. Oh, Ooh. Well, aren't you a smooth talk? <laughs> So you've got invisible He's still scars. eating flames. Shut up, Natsu. Every time I say something cool, you gotta ruin it. <laughs> that cool. What? But miss, you deserve the reward, so take it, please. Thank you. But your gratitude is payment enough. That's nice, but you should take the money. <laughs> I'm fighting it. Back to fighting again. Never officially accepted by the guild. It fell into the hands of foolish wizards trying to prove themselves. <laughs> foolish as they may be, if it wasn't for them, we never would have been saved. What if I give you the money, not as a reward, but instead as a thank you gift? It's the least I can do after everything you've done for our village. Take it. How much money is it? Must be a lot since it is an S rank. When you put it that way, you make it hard to say no. <laughs> She's really going to take it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Accepting your reward would be contrary to our guild's principles. However, we'd be happy to take the gate key you offered along with it. <laughs> the gate key! Come to mama! Well, at least let me take you back to Harshion. Thank you. Where's the gate key? What is it? Oh! Oh yeah, she stole a pirate ship. <laughs> Awesome. 
Wait, did they take the key? Demon Wiggle Waggle. <laughs> they never showed us that dance. So is Leo saying here? Man, he has like a huge following. Oh, he's thinking about it. It's quite a shame that Deliora didn't work out. So this guy's evil, huh? Is unfortunate. What was he planning with Deliora? Knowing the demon was already dead. He wanted to control it, I guess. It's a relatively minor setback. I'll be more thorough next time. Please forgive me, Seagrain, sir. I had no idea that Wench's magic was so powerful. You shouldn't speak about your mother that way. Don't cause Ur to shed another tear. Or is her mother? She was a magnificent wizard who was greatly admired. In fact, I think if she was still alive today, she would be counted among the ten wizard saints. You give her ten far too much. Ah, I'm so confused. My mother loved her magic <laughs> and nothing else. It's I thought she died. Her father abandoned the wretch. They say the greater the loss a person suffers. Was Aura really that strong? Over it. Ten wizard saints? Who are they? You never know. What if she took on those students to fill the void you left behind? Could we please change the subject? I think it's time for us to move on to the next stage. You were teared your face. What happened? <laughs> she got punched. That idiot Nasu punched me. <laughs> <laughs> that certainly is a delayed reaction. So how was he? Did you find him to be a worthy opponent? I never had to use more than half of my power against him. Oh. I'm quite impressed. It seems he's getting stronger with this. So she's way stronger. I'm not surprised. He is Igneous son. To realize my dream, you must continue burning brightly. What's his dream? To fight Natsu? Did she keep the key? Be glad you got something. She's got a point. Now quit your complaining. That's pretty easy for you to say. You got a reward. Can we tell her? How could you even <laughs> suggest that, Happy? You guys just don't get it. What's the key? What does she get? Sure, there are lots of silver gate keys, but there are only 12 gold zodiac keys. And I'm lucky enough to have five. She has five? Too bad they're all crazy. You had better watch your mouth, you punk. Me and my celestial She almost has half of the celestial keys. So, which one of the zodiac keys? that you end up getting it's Sagittarius the centaur it's a horseman is it a fighter or did she get another one okay. just for like personal use almost as if you've forgotten you face punishment when we get back to the guild <sighs> but why everything worked out in the end can't we just forget the whole punishment thing you're right everything worked out i just realized there's a fish in her thing is a serious offense. Oh, I said we're sorry. If you promise that you'll never do it again, then I don't think you need to be penalized by the guild. Unfortunately, I don't have any say in the matter. Your fate is in Master Makarov's hands. So I'm sure you'll be facing punishment. No, I'm scared. <laughs> you think he's gonna make us do that? Do what? Just me now. I don't think I could live through that again. <laughs> Talk the old man out of punishing us. That guy loves me. <laughs> Do what? Why was Gray so scared? You can't talk your way out of this one. Good luck with that. What is it? <laughs> All right, so that's the end of the gray backstory arc. Um, so they didn't destroy the moon like we thought they would. Uh, they just destroyed the shell that was covering over the island, 
and it turns out the villagers were uh monsters to begin with so yeah i wonder what key did lucy get because there's only 12 of the celestial ones and she had four and she just got one now she has five um but they didn't say what well they said it was a sagittarius but I they didn't really show its powers or what it even looks like, and I wonder what their punish is gonna be when they come back for to the guild because they keep the, Gray and Natsu are super scared of the punishment, but I think it's gonna be one of those things again where it it builds it up and then it turns out to be nothing. It's been doing that a lot, so I wouldn't be surprised anymore. But yeah, I'm uh, excited to start the next arc.